The service of songs in honor of the late Mr. Jones Ajayi was held at the Cathedral Church of St. John Bida, where the family and the associates of the deceased bid him far away with glowing tributes and renditions. We therefore want to encourage everyone to keep serving the Lord just like those of them who have served, not procrastinating and thinking that we will always live. Uh, now that he's a bit close to retirement, if he had said, okay, it is after retirement that I will serve, it would have, he would have missed the opportunity. So those of you who are his colleagues and are working, we pray just like God helped him to finish well, that God will also help you to finish well. Pastor Benedict Okafo of All Saints Church, Bida, where the deceased worships before he was called unto the Lord, described the late John's Ajayi as a diligent father and dedicated follower of the Lord. Speaking on behalf of his friends, Mr. Hela Ejia said Let John's Ajayi epitomizes peace and he was a friend of many, while other clergy described him as a great pillar of the diocese and the entire community. And we all miss him passionately. And our joy and confidence is that so far our Lord Jesus Christ lives. Jones is living in our hearts. And we know that at the resurrection morning, we will be with him in paradise. He told me, Pastor, do not cry. In a testimony, the officer in charge of the Nigerian Television Authority, Ntia Bidda, Mala Ibrahim Adamu, through a new translator, Mr. Philip Yusa said Let John's Ajayi was always trustworthy, creative, and committed to discharging his saddle responsibilities beyond expectations, adding that Mr. Jones was always upright to duty even when he was sick. Mr. Jones was a woman of course. He learned a lot of He's a trustworthy man. And Special prayers were offered for the repulsors of the late Mr. Jones Ajayi, Umar Adamu. NTA News.